Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, so today we are gonna just do something really fun. This is something that we do every year with Little Parker and we always have a blast doing it. You guys know that on the homestead, we strive to grow our own food with a big garden every year and raising our own meat. Y'all know that we are in an interesting temporary living arrangement here in the apartment for the next five months until we move to our cabin in Alaska once Joe retires. Um, so we don't have uh, meat birds, we don't have our chickens, we don't have any livestock, we don't have our big garden that we usually have. I've got the balcony garden going, but that is no comparison to the garden that we normally do. And it has been a goal of mine, and I told myself when we moved into this apartment, I will continue to strive to eat good food and provide good food for my family. I like to support local farmers. Even when we have the homestead, we obviously don't grow everything that we need. We were sourcing our raw milk from a local farmer. We go to another farm every year and I get a ton of fresh cabbage and make my sauerkraut. So just things that we might not grow ourselves on the homestead or maybe things that we don't grow enough of and I wanna put up a bunch of food for winter. I go to the local farms and I last year we even went to a local farm and we purchased half a cow. We aren't raising beef on the homestead anymore. We didn't have enough room on the smaller homestead Instead. So we were supporting a local farmer and buying beef from them. If you guys missed that video, I'll link it here for you. That was a lot of fun and we are still eating that beef right now. So today we are going to go to one of my favorite strawberry patches here in Virginia and we're going to go strawberry picking y'all. I thought I would bring you guys along with us. It's so much fun. The first time we took Parker to the strawberry patch, you guys, he was covered in strawberries. He, I think he ate more strawberries at the strawberry patch than he picked. <laughs> He's so cute. So this has kind of been a tradition of ours. We do this every year, just about every year. And the strawberry patch is opened up. They are saying there's a ton of ripe strawberries. So today we're gonna head out with Joe and have a relaxing day picking strawberries. It's a beautiful sunny day. The next five months before we get to Alaska, we're gonna take advantage of our last summer in Virginia and we're gonna just really spend some family quality time and do some things with Parker that um, we're not gonna do when we get to Alaska because that's gonna be a whole different adventure, right? So I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with us today as we go strawberry picking. So with that said, let's jump into this. I've gotta do something here um, with myself. Gotta get Parker up, make my bed, and Joe is at an appointment, and as soon as he gets home, we're gonna head out for the strawberry patch. Parker, oh, you're already awake. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Bubby. Good morning. Hi. Hi. I didn't know you were awake in here. You want to go to the strawberry patch today? Yeah? That's our school. We're going to go pick strawberries. It's very sunny. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. You excited? Yeah. All right, well, let's get going. we got to eat some breakfast and get ready. Dad will be home soon, and then we're going to head out to the strawberry patch, okay? Okay. All right. All right, so this is kind of a mess right now. I need to make my bed, but I just wanted to uh, explain what these are. <laughs> just because I know you guys are gonna see them when I'm making my bed. So you guys know uh, we created bug out bags for everybody in the family. Me, Joe, Parker, and Lexi. So if you guys missed that video on kind of what we do or are doing for preparedness, uh, food storage and bug out bags in case you know something crazy happens and we have to like, leave the apartment and go somewhere. I mean, it could be anything, right? It could be a natural disaster. It could be crazy people disaster, but these are bug out bags. And over the last year, we've kind of like dug through them a couple times and got some things out and used some things. And Joe decided that he wanted to really take a look at them and just make sure that they're all still organized and that each bag has everything that it needs. So we put them here just as a reminder that we need to get to that in the next couple days and get these reorganized and packed up. So that is why I have big bug out bags sitting at the base of my bed. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I 
We have about a 30 minute drive and I'm super excited. I plan on canning up some strawberry jam. That's, I, I do that every time we go to the strawberry patch. Strawberry jam is one of my favorites, super easy to make. So I'm definitely gonna be using strawberries for that. And I'm gonna freeze some for Parker because he loves eating like a handful of frozen strawberries for a snack and maybe make some yummy strawberry bread with some like frosting, I don't know. We'll find stuff to do with it. Eating them raw because straight off the vine, they're super sweet and delicious. Way better than grocery store strawberries. Joe, are you excited about going strawberry picking? Oh, totally. Are you just like super duper excited? I am. Yeah, <laughs> How about you, P? Awesome. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. Are you going to pick a lot of strawberries? No, I'm probably going to eat all of them. You're going to eat all of them? That's what you normally do. <laughs> So I know from years past that it's best to go to the back of the strawberry patch because most people are lazy and they don't want to walk back there <laughs> and they'll just pick the strawberries that are up front. So a lot of these plants are like picked clean, but if you go in the back, there's some, usually some good, uh, good bushes back there full of berries. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, there's another big one down there too, P. Yeah, right there. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall
Nights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself I can be someone else No one stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold Drive a faster car, nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars, nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. We've been trying to leave for like, what do you say, P? Like 15, 20 minutes. Joe's like a little kid. He's trying to walk out of the row, but he just can't help himself. He keeps stopping. He's like, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Now, the buckets, <laughs> you're supposed to fill the buckets, right? It's 10 bucks a bucket. And I'm like, Joe's buckets are a little full. Maybe we should have got another bucket. <laughs> He's so cute. They have like the prettiest rows. Looks like everybody picked them all off the edges. They don't want to walk on it. Look at that, Joe. Does that look like a bucket? I think you should have got yourself another bucket. <laughs> All right, we are hungry, so we're gonna stop and get some lunch. We're in the beautiful small town of Smithfield, Virginia. Super quaint with all these little shops and everything. Adorable, I love it. So I'm gonna take Joe into this restaurant that I went to before, super good. All I remember about it was their Brussels sprouts with like this balsamic vinaigrette. No, balsamic glaze, something to that effect. Absolutely delicious, so told Joe we gotta try it. The day wouldn't be complete without a car wash. 
Put it, Joe. Okay, you guys, we just pulled into the parking lot back at the apartment, and I think I need to go put on a very comfy pair of sweatpants. <laughs> we had a really big lunch, and then Parker wanted frozen yogurt. Yeah, it's all Parker's fault. We definitely did not need frozen yogurt on top of that big lunch, but what a beautiful day. It was so sunny. I was overdressed in jeans and a sweater, but that's okay. I still enjoyed myself. I sat on a strawberry. Yep, got a big, huge, wet strawberry patch on my butt. So that's fun. But we've got so many strawberries. Did you guys see all those strawberries? They're absolutely beautiful. I'm super excited to get them washed up. I think I'm gonna put probably like a gallon bag together for Parker, put them in the freezer, because like I said, he likes to just eat frozen strawberries like snacks and um, definitely gonna can up some strawberry jam. So I would love to share my favorite recipe with you guys. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for hanging out with us today, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time, stay blessed and we'll see you very soon. So this is what we ended up with. I've got all the strawberries washed and clean. We've got four quarts of strawberries in the bowl. That's what I'm gonna be making my fresh jam out of. And then these strawberries are the ones going in the freezer. So I like to lay these out in a single layer on cookie sheets and freeze them like this. That way, when they're done freezing, you can shake the pan, drop it on the counter, it'll loosen them all up again, but then you can put them in a gallon-sized baggie and they're frozen individually and not all clumped together in like a big ball of strawberries. So it's a great way to freeze anything, veggies, fruits, if you want to have like you know, single frozen veggies and fruits versus like this big clump of like ice when you're ready to use it. <laughs> and this Tupperware here is just fresh berries for eating. So these are washed and ready to go. And then these are the ones we're gonna be making our jam recipe with. Joe, what? stop eating them. You're gonna have diarrhea. Babe, stop. Too late. <laughs>